Hello, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel and let's talk about big books. I think it's no secret that I am scared of big books. I think I've mentioned it multiple times and I'm mostly scared because they are big. That means they will take longer to read and I struggle with DNFing. So if I tackle a big book and I don't DNF, really don't DNF books, then it's going to be a long struggle. So I'm scared to start big books because I don't know if I will like them. And if I don't like them, yeah, it's a vicious cycle, especially in my head. But it is what it is. I decided to look on my Goodreads to read shelf. It mostly consists of books that I actually own. So all of my books are on my Goodreads, almost all, on my <laughs> Goodreads to read shelf. So I went there, I sorted them based on the pages, and I'm going to show you the biggest books. And by that, I mean, I'm going to show you the books that have 600 plus pages. And I'm going to go in order from like the closest to 600 and then up. And they are based on Goodreads, the pages that are indicated on Goodreads. For these editions, I try and mark the exact edition that I own on Goodreads. So I hope the pages are not very off because as we know, Goodreads are not the most trusted, I feel like, because people put in those numbers and sometimes people make mistakes. I'm basing this list on the Goodreads, what the Goodreads gave me that is here. And I have 12 books to show you and some extras and you will know what i mean with extra right away because the first book i'm gonna show you will have an extra let's tackle the list of the biggest books on my tbr so let's start with the shortest one on this big books list and it is gods and monsters by shelby mahern this is the third book in serpent and dove trilogy and here comes the next extra thing since i have read only first book in this trilogy there is book two that I have to read before I even get to this big book. This one is 612 pages long and this is not much shorter. This has 532 pages. It is still big. It's still a big book. But yeah, so this is a story about a witch and a witch hunter. And in the first book, they are forced, kind of forced to marry each other and he doesn't know that she is a witch, so yeah, a romance between a witch and a witch hunter. And I really enjoyed that one, though I read it a few years ago already and I don't remember that much about it. But I actually really would like to continue with the series, but for some reason, series are not really... Continuing series is <laughs> never my priority and I don't know why. Then I have Skyward Flight by Brandon Sanderson and Jancy or Yancy. Patterson. This is a collection of short stories or novellas set in Skyward series. Is it a Skyward series? I feel like yes. So this consists of three novellas, but it is big book and I'm gonna count it as one when I read. I have read first two books in this series and I really enjoy them. And we follow Spencer who is a cadet in a flight academy. I hope I'm remembering this correctly. And she had a hard time getting there because of her father. There was something that happened in the past. She and her family is blamed for the Thing her father did and she had to struggle because of it but yeah she goes to that school and first one we follow her journey in the school and in the second one it is after and we learn more about the world and yeah I still have number three to read and four and these are in between I feel like two of these were between book two and three or one was between so yeah I need to look up in between which books I have to read these but yeah, this is 622 pages long. So yeah. Next is Sword Catcher 
by Cassandra Clare. This is the author's first kind of adult fantasy novel. It is a big one. Based on Goodreads is 623 pages long, though if I look in here it's a bit less. We are going by Goodreads today because I was too lazy to check every book and apparently put them in different order. I don't know much about this one, but I guess it is about these two men. On the back it says, one was raised to rule, one was trained to die. Welcome to the Chronicles of Castellan. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly, but yeah. This is a fantasy book set in a different world than usual Cassandra Clare's Shadowhunters books, because there are a lot of those. And yeah. I don't know much about this one. I hope it's good, but I haven't heard a lot of things about this one. Next, I have The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie. This one is 686 pages long. And this is the third book in the first law, first trilogy. There are a lot of books in the series, but if I'm not mistaken, there are like grouped into trilogies and then there are some separate short stories and something like that but yeah so this is the third book and i haven't read first two so add extra i don't know how many pages that i have to read before i actually get to this beast but this is a series that i've heard that is called grim dark fantasy i don't know what it is about actually but i'm interested in trying this series so yeah i can't say much because i haven't read any of the books in this series though i plan to read the first one this year we'll see if i get to it but the plan is to pick the first one up finally this year then i have a tiny beast and this is the thorn birds by colin mccullough i have the latvian edition it is small but it is 697 pages long so it is big one though it's small and this print is really really small i don't like small print books but it is what it is i know that colin mccullough is an australian author and i remember when i was a kid there was this like mini series or TV series or something like that based on this book. If I'm not mistaken, this is about a priest or some kind of a man like that who works, who is a religious leader. I don't know really the religion related terms, but it is a love story between him and a girl, a young girl, I guess, probably. So yeah, forbidden love, I guess, because he's not supposed to love anyone or be in a relationship with anyone i don't know but yeah that is that i hate that this is such small book and that the print is so small and that keeps that mostly keeps me from picking this one up that it is small and the print is small so it is a lot of words on one page and i can imagine that it is not really easy to read this book because it is quite stiff so getting in there is not that easy. Then another first law book, this time Best Served Cold by Joe Abercrombie. I know that on Goodreads it says that this is book four, but I don't know if it is a standalone or it is a first book in a next trilogy or something, but this is part of that same series. So before I get to this one, I still need to read those three books. This one is 703 pages long. So once again, I can't really say what this one is about, but I'm really looking forward to starting the series. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I know a lot of people enjoy it. So I hope I will be one of them. Despite that, I'm not a person who likes violence a lot. I feel like these books might have a lot of violence but i just now know that i need to spread them out it's not like i can't read about it but i just can't read multiple books in a row like one after another that has a lot of violence because then it gets too much for me but otherwise yeah i'm really looking forward to 
finally getting to the series. Next, I have a well-known book that I know that a lot of people love, but there are some people who don't. And it is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. And this one is 735 pages long. It is a beast. I have heard that this is a tough book because there is a lot of bad things happening to, I don't know if one particular person or a group of friends but i feel like this is about a go group of friends and the things they have to go through a lot of people i've seen have been crying while reading this book and yeah i guess it is a really tough though i'm a bit apprehensive of reading this one because i know my friend didn't like this one so i'm a bit scared to pick it up and if i like it then i don't know I don't know why it makes it weird when my friends dislike some books and then I don't know if I want to pick them up because there is a chance that I would like them. And I know I'm not really a critical reader. I don't read very critically. So yeah, I don't know. That kind of keeps me back from picking up not just the fact that it is a beast and a really big book bed, but the reason that my friend didn't like it. I just realized I might have messed something up because uh, not all books that I have are added to Goodreads. I mostly add them when I do the book hauls on my channel. And I see, I know where the sequel is of the next book I'm going to show you. And it is quite big. It might be somewhere on this list too. But just know it is here. I have it and it might be in between the books I already mentioned. And the book in question, the book on this list next, is Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. This is a story about a man who is a vampire hunter, and I think he is caught by the vampires, and he's telling his story to them, and how, I guess, he hunts them. I don't know. But it's a vampire story. And I think he's lost one of those, but uh, I'm not sure. So, yeah. But this is a vampire book. It is big. This one is... We have extra pages, like art and maths. We have 700... Oh, we have at the top the numbers. So we have 720. So technically... I don't know what did this... For this one, it said on Goodreads. But it should have been more than this. And this was 730 something. Okay, it doesn't really matter. But okay, yeah, vampire book. I have the sequel that is also a beast. Might be maybe a bit shorter than this one based on the how it looks. It might be a bit shorter, but not by much. So still might be over 500 pages. I don't have anything else to say about this one and now we go to 800s the next book i have to show you has 803 pages and it is crescent city by sarah j mass no it is crescent city book one and the actual book name is house of earth and blood and in this one our main character has to investigate murders her best friend was murdered and now sometime later She's asked to help with the investigation of new murders happening in the town. And we have a lot of different creatures living in this world. So, yeah, it's her journey of doing that. I know that this is some people's favorite book of Sarah J. Maas. I have read only one book by this author and it is not fave-related. It is The Catwoman Soul Steel. Was that one? I saw JMS and I enjoyed it, but I need to pick up these. I'm right away gonna mention the next book, the next big book, because it is the sequel to this one, and it is House of Sky and Breath, book two in the Crescent City series, and this one is 805 pages long, so only two pages longer. Don't, I feel like it looks much longer right not just two pages because this is thicker than this one but the pages are thicker this has quite thin 
pages. So yeah, these are beasts that I really want to try. But I've heard that the series gets a bit worse by the book. And we have already the third book out. I don't know the title of the book, but I know that it is golden, right? I feel like it is gold. Kind of yellowy golden golden color. But yeah, despite that, I am really interested in trying this series. Hopefully, I will quite soon, maybe. Probably not. It was top three biggest book on this list so let's move on to top two book two book <laughs> top two book is to sleep in a sea of stars by christopher paulini this is a sci-fi book and it is 878 pages long so really a weapon of a book and yeah this is a sci-fi book and i feel like it is the first contact kind of thing like where our character has to maybe not has to or but she is interacting with aliens or figuring something out about the aliens i really want to read it because i have heard good things about it i know that there are people who love it and i really want to love it but yeah when people love books it also scares me to pick them up like with the other book when people i know hate books it scares me to pick them up because I might like them and the other way around works too because if people I know love books then I'm scared to pick them up and what if I hate them? It's nothing bad to hate a book someone else loves but yeah. I really like sci-fis. I don't read them enough. I really want to read them more but because I love them I feel like it is hard to pick them up because I don't want to hate sci-fi. So yeah and the last book at 912 pages is Rago Labyrinth by Carlos Ruiz Safon this is I don't really know the English title this is the fourth book in a series the first one is Shadow of the Wind I have read the first three but quite some time ago and I did really enjoy them it is by a Spanish author so it is translated from Spanish and this fourth book took a really really long time to be translated like I don't know how when did it come originally out but it was quite some time after the third book came out in Latvia and that the fourth one was released but it is here I'm excited to read it but yeah 900 and what 12 pages I said it is a beast and I don't really remember that well the rest of the series, the first three books. And I don't really remember how connected they are. Or are they like, do you really need to know really well what happened in the previous books to read the next one? I feel like no, but maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, this the first one, this boy goes to a library and picks up a book and he really likes it. And then when he tries to find other books by this author, he quickly finds out that there is no other books left by this author and someone is like destroying them. And he goes on a journey to figuring out more things about why is that? And there is a love story. And yeah, it was really interesting and exciting. But I feel like I read it like more than 10 years ago. So I feel like I read it really, really long time ago. So yeah, this is the last big book on this list. These were the biggest books on my TBR based on Goodreads. So as we saw, some pages didn't really match the pages that are mentioned on Goodreads and what I saw inside. Some order might be different if I looked up, looked in the books before I started filming. Not just trust Goodreads to be correct. Because we know we can't really trust everything we see online. <laughs> but yeah, these were the big books on my list. Please let me know what is the biggest book you have read and what is the biggest book or one of the biggest books you have on your TBR, on your shelves or on the list of books you want to read someday. I think the biggest book I have read is Le Mis because... I read it in two like big tomes and overall it was over a thousand pages long. So I feel like that is the biggest book I have ever read. 
I'm proud that I have read it, but I didn't enjoy it. I didn't love the book. But I'm proud to say, and I'm happy that I can say that I have read Le Mes by Victor Hugo. So, yeah, it is an accomplishment in itself, finishing that big of a book when you don't really enjoy it that much. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and i see you in the next one. Bye! I'm sorry for the squeaky chair. I can help it. It's annoying me. But this is...